Hey, I'm Man Technic. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about two things. It's a uh, part crypto, part technology. We're going to talk about the Brave browser and the basic attention token. But before we do that, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell down below so you're notified when I post my latest updates. I'm kicking out great knowledge about crypto, cybersecurity, and technology. So make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll hop right into it. We have breaking news. Let's head over to the desk. Here's Man Technic. So, Brave. What is Brave? What is Basic Attention Token? How do they combine to make this awesome technology that I'm excited about? So, Brave is a new browser that aims to let you browse privately without being tracked and inundated with ads. Because you know, everywhere you go, there's ads. Everyone's generating revenue off of you browsing the internet. So they're putting ads in your face. And these ads aren't just arbitrary, they're very targeted. So if you search uh, on Amazon, and one day you buy something, two days later you're getting ads about it after you already bought it. So we're, we're being inundated, it's crazy. You know, $23 a month of your cell phone bill is you know, going towards data that's being used by these ad and tracking services that are running in the background that you're not even aware about. Uh, and about 500 million people downloaded an uh, ad blocking extension onto their browsers in the past year. So what has happened is this new technology called Brave, uh, the founder of JavaScript as well as uh, Mozilla and Firefox, a guy named Brandon Ike, decided he wanted to change the way that we ingest content online and change the ways that advertisers interact with us so that we're not being inundated. So I'm gonna show you here the Brave browsing platform, it's awesome. It's a great tool. Uh, I just downloaded it, I've been playing around with it today. And so if we look at the team behind Brave and the basic attention token, uh, like I said, we've got Brandon Ike, you know. He was at Mozilla and Firefox. He founded JavaScript, he is a king. He knows what he's doing. He's been successful with this before with JavaScript. JavaScript allow, allows us to interact with web pages and do what you do and fill out forms and just, JavaScript is how you interact with the web browser. If you're on a web browser, JavaScript is key. If we didn't have JavaScript, the internet would be boring. So he, he's really big with that. So you've got also Brian Bondi uh, with the Khan Academy. He also worked you know, for Mozilla and then Evernote, if you use Evernote to organize yourself. So I'm really excited about the team that's behind this, this technology. And so let's talk, let's talk a little bit more about what actually Brave does. So Brave, has a built-in ad blocker into it. So if you see here over on the right, there's a little lion face and you're blocking ads, right? You can block third-party cookies so that someone's not tracking you. So let's say you go to an Amazon and you search for something. It won't pop up, it won't be targeted ad at you later because that tracking, that cookie has been blocked. So let's show you how this actually works. So I wanna pull up a video here on YouTube because YouTubers are using AdSense to make revenue. Uh, once you hit 10,000 views, you can, you can decide to monetize your channel. And once you monetize your channel, you are paid based on your user's interaction with the ads that come up. I just hit the 10,000 view uh, threshold yesterday and I have not monetized my channel. So I, I'm gonna stick with that and just keep going because I wanna give you content without being inundated with ads. Uh, so we're gonna load up uh, Minority Mindset. He's a good dude, he kicks some, some good knowledge. So we'll load his channel and as you can see, right away, it's slow, right? There's an ad loading. I've got an ad. I'm not seeing the content that I want to see. It's an ad for ibuildyourbrand.com. I don't know what that is, but I don't want to see it. I want to watch the video I want to watch. So I'm going to pause that. I'm going to copy that URL. I already copied it. And I'm going to hop over to the Brave browser and watch how much faster this loads. I'm going to open up a new tab, paste it in. Well, look at that. No ad. The ad is blocked. So from me loading that one page, there's seven ads that were either, seven ads and trackers that were blocked, nine now. So you see how it works. It works fast, it allows your page to load quicker. Well, how does this have anything to do with crypto, you might ask? So what Brave's aim is to do, so you know now you have a publisher like myself. I'm a YouTube publisher. I'm pub publishing content onto YouTube. There's advertisers out there that want to target you, my audience. So how this works now is the advertisers can pay to post an ad on YouTube based on what your information is, like what you're looking for. So 
if you're interested in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, they might post an ad on my channel and I will get some residual income based on how you interact with that ad. There's a middleman in the game and it's very confusing and it's just not conducive to how you wanna browse the internet. So the basic attention token was spawned out of this brave technology. And essentially what the basic attention tokens aim is, is to allow users, that means you, to get paid for ingesting ads, right? So if you come to my website, you can go over here and you can turn off ad block, right? You can turn your shield off on this browser. And when you turn that shield off, it allows ads to be targeted to you. Well, you can be paid for that. And that's the reason it's called the basic attention token because you as a user can be paid based on the attention and the interaction that you have with these ads. So you receive the basic attention token as a, a form of payment. And the, the goal of that is to be able to use the basic attention tokens to purchase other digital types of entertainment. Uh, for, you know, for example, Patreon, that's a pay uh, for service uh, subscription where you can pay to ingest content from your favorite you know, uh, publishers. So you can pay with the basic attention to token. Uh, in the future, you'd be able to pay on services like uh, Patreon, or if you're familiar with My Kajabi, which offers uh, you know, publishers to post their course courses on My Kajabi, you know, you'd eventually be able to pay for a course if you want to learn about internet marketing or how to get into crypto. You could pay that publisher in basic attention token. So the aim is to take the money out of the middleman's hands and take it directly from the advertisers to the publishers to the users so that we all get compensated in a decentralized fashion. If you're interested in purchasing basic attention token, you can check it out. We'll pull it up on CoinMarketCap right now and just see where it stands. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor, so if you're interested in purchasing this, make sure you do your, your due diligence and your research. I'm just giving you a little excitement about it. Uh, I know a lot about cybersecurity and technology, and I'm, I'm learning a lot about crypto, so I like it when it's all compared, uh, you know, combined together, and I can have a cryptocurrency with a technology platform that I'm really interested in. And this brave technology, this brave browser is something that I'm really interested in. So let's pull up the basic attention token. All right, so right now, the current market cap for basic attention token is $806 million. Uh, it's at, sitting at 80 cents right now, and there are a billion coins. So there's a billion coins that are gonna be circulated for basic attention token. So if you're interested in, in hopping in there, you can actually purchase a basic attention token. Uh, if you look at it on Binance, uh, I've seen it on Binance, it's out there on a couple other um, exchanges, and you can go ahead and sign up for that. Also, follow up to one of my latest videos with Binance not accepting new user accounts. If you go to Qcoin, I have a link below. You don't have to wait to get into Binance. You can sign up for Qcoin. There's plenty of altcoins to trade on on that market, so make sure you hop on uh, to Qcoin. There is a link below so you can sign up, start, get, start getting traded today if you are new into crypto. That's a good way for you to see what alternatives to Bitcoin that are out there. If you're interested in purchasing some of these altcoins that I've been talking about in my latest videos, Make sure you sign up for Binance. Uh, they should be allowing counts next week, so stay tuned to, uh, so you can get notified when that happens. Also, there's a link for Qcoin. It's a new uh, exchange that I just hopped into. A very nice user interface, very easy to work with, plenty of altcoins. There's a link below. If you wanna sign up for Qcoin, in the meantime, while you can't get to uh, Binance, make sure you do that. Also, if you haven't jumped in at all, you need to sign up for Coinbase to deposit money. Get $10 free when you deposit your first $100. Sign up below for Coinbase. If this is your first time checking out Man Technic, make sure you hit the subscribe button right here. Click the bell below so you receive updates when I post my latest videos. Also be sure to check me out at Man Technic on Facebook. And check out my website, www.mantechnic.com. I'm Man Technic, I'm out, peace.